How was your day at school? Mom! There's grapes, can you find apples? I'll be honest, healthy eating has not come naturally. Can I do that? Every time I cook something, they're always like, what are you doing, Grandma? So I show to them, and this is our culture, this is our food. Just as much as we want him to do it, we have to model what we want. To me, healthy eating is real food, balanced, and a colorful plate. That's how I teach the kids healthy eating. It's a little bit crazier with us, with the newborn. We used to just eat together on the table. Now, we just take turns. My husband and I. If I had any tips to give to another pregnant or breastfeeding mother, I would definitely say keep a lot of snacks in your bag. It was really easy for me to grab apples while I was driving in the car if I was starving. And always tons of water. I do the uh, cooking, I do the food shopping, and um, then if Sophia is helping with dinner, I'm always in like a teacher mode. Okay. And I'm just teaching her, does it look good? Yes. Does it taste good? Yes. And is it healthy? And we kind of go through that as we cook. She's usually asking to take a bite, but I always encourage her. And she says, oh, I said, just try one bite. If you don't like it, it's OK. You got to have a little tomato. But if you do, it's opened up your world. It's important to teach them about balance at an early age so that it becomes a lifelong habit. It is incredibly challenging for me to be a single mom and to go to school and to work even part time. But now I'm really trying hard and especially with Josiah, I notice that he pays attention to what I'm eating and that he's more likely to try things if he sees that I eat them. You really set yourself up for success when you really just make those little alterations to your diet and your kid's diet. It makes a huge difference. Trying to find ways to get my son to be interested in healthy food and not, not name it good or bad. All right. I'm 38 weeks pregnant. When I get hungry and I'm not prepared, I make bad decisions. That's, that's what I would say, having stuff accessible. And clean and ready, right? Like, I've been in situations where the bag of grapes is in the fridge, but, it's but it still feels like it's too hard. <laughs> if the setup is there for you, then your split second decisions are still good. Dad's not home, mom does it all, and it's tough. They love to help me cook. So I like to give them jobs and they feel very important. Having them involved in the dinner process, to me, it's what's important. It makes them know that we eat our food together, we make our food together, we know what we're eating. The value of nutrition is something that they'll take with them in a last lifetime, as well as hopefully they pass it to their kids as well. I put fruit out, the kids eat it. It doesn't need to be in a salad or anything fancy. Just get a banana, get an apple. Keep it simple and that's kind of what works. When I grocery shop, I actually go in, kind of see what's on sale to go with our meat and kind of maybe base a meal around that. The gym teachers in school, they focus on that my plate, like look up there and that's what you should have.